my gang. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I pray that you had a blessed Christmas and you remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a baseball cap wig. So without further ado, let's get into it. The supplies you're going to need is a Singer heavy duty sewing machine, one bundle of human hair extensions, a baseball cap of your choice, a comb and some scissors, glue sticks, and a glue gun. All right guys, so before we make our baseball cap wig, we are gonna quickly go over uh, the sewing machine. So we have a Singer heavy duty sewing machine and um, I'm gonna show you real quickly how, to, how it functions. And this is a foot controller right here. Right here is the on and off switch. See, off and on, cute little light. Right here is the hand wheel. Over here you have the stitch wheel dial, which is the pattern selector, selection. Um, I normally use the straight stitch or the zigzag pattern. Those are the only two I use, I don't use the rest of these. Uh, right here is the length. I always keep it on three, width. I always keep that on three as well. Over here, you have your bobbin, which is the bobbin winder. And then you have the bobbin stopper. And over here, you have the uh, bobbin uh, holder. So you can hold all your bobbins here. Just cute. Place them right here. Right there. Right here, you have your um, thread holder where you can hold your, your thread. Put it there and you have your needle tension position which is a zero i always keep it on a zero and then you have your the tension is on a number four over here i have the bob and winer thread guide right here and then um over here you have the thread guide and right here is the take up lever Let's see, this is the take up lever right here, right here. You use this to adjust the take up lever. Um, right here's your needle, of course. This right here is a presser foot. Under here is where the bobbin goes. That's where the bobbin goes, right here. And let's see, what else? Um, this is the reverse. This allows you to go back. See, you can go in reverse. And you can cut your thread right here on the side. That's where you can cut your thread. And in here is really cute. This machine, um, you can take this off. Take that off and you'll have more space to work on your wig. And also you have a cute little secret compartment in here that allow you to store little things. So this machine came with um, plastic bobbins, but I went ahead and I purchased some metal bobbins. And there you have it. That's pretty much your uh, sewing machine. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to wind your bobbin. So as I stated earlier, I purchased metal bobbins. They come with the plastic bobbins, which goes up here, the little holder. Um, so normally you're supposed to put your thread here, but this is like too fat, it moves, you know? So what I do is I put it up here where the bobbins are supposed to go, all right? So what you're gonna do in order to thread for your bobbin, you're going to take your thread till you hear a little click, hear that click? And you're gonna follow this little diagram right here. What, exactly what this diagram says, that's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna go this way and you're gonna go that way. And you're going to take your scissors it and you're going 
going to stick it through any hole, doesn't matter, as long as it's in the hole. And put it on. I'm gonna put it on your bobbin winder pin. And you're gonna hear a little click. Hear that click? All right, and then you're gonna hold it in the air and press your uh, foot controller, foot presser. And go slow because this will fall off. And eventually, you know, you can um, take your scissors and cut this. It's okay to cut it. Go ahead and cut that. And if it need be, just hold on. All right, you see it? It stopped on its own. And that's why I said make sure you always hold on to this because it can get out of control. It's not broken, but it can get out of control. Just plop that back on, it's a piece of plastic, and it's done, okay? Just take it out, pull it out, and then you just cut it, and there you go, there goes your bobbin. All right, so this is a spool of thread. Normally, you're supposed to use this spool of thread which goes in here and they give you a cute little stopper and that's how they want you to sew. But I use a big spool of thread and I place it here. All right, so the basics. So in order to thread your machine, you are going to just simply follow directions it goes all the way up to six. So this is number one, right here. Number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. We're just gonna follow it. We're gonna follow what they tell us to do, okay? So this is number one right here. This is number two. Go down number three, number four. Number five, number six, and then we're going to thread it. Thread the machine right here. Yep, press the foot down, stick it right through. Stick it right through. Then you have your bobbin right here. See your bobbin. Put your bobbin inside. And then under here, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little metal little slit right here. See that little metal slit? You're gonna put your thread under the metal slit right there. Okay? And we're gonna pull the thread up together. There you go, you see it grabbing each other? Grabbing it, there we go. And then you just take something pointy and There you have it, voila. So you thread your machine, put your case back, and you're ready to sew. I forgot to mention you're gonna need a mannequin head. So you take your hat, you're gonna flip it upside down, and you're gonna stick it on the mannequin's head like so. Okay guys, so I already pre-cut my bundles. What I want you to do is measure from here to here and then you go up again measure from here to here and then from here to here you can use as many bundles as you want make it as thick as you want see this is one bundle
Okay, so I doubled my wefts. Instead of having six wefts, I have three. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. Okay, so I like to pin my weft on. That way it's in place. And then make sure you are working above the adjusting strap. Okay, so we're taking the pin off and you have to work fast. Gotta apply that glue real fast. Apply it. And you just put it on like that. Make sure you clean up any residue. And then you're going to just work all the way around. Just keep on going all the way around. And be sure as you go, make sure it's nice and clean. And this is how your wefts should look. Glued on the baseball cap. All right, Kavana gang, so here you have it. This is the end result. Remember, you can use as many bundles as you want. It's your preference. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you.